one last question um, before I, I let you go. Um, can you share a little, I totally switched gears, but can you switch, uh, uh, can you share a little bit about um, you uh, working with the Tennessee Titans? That's such a cool experience. How did that happen? Yeah. And man, I'm watching football one day and there you are, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that was a great experience. Um, there was actually um, some former cheerleaders for the Titans um, that uh, kind of informed me that they're trying to go with a different route. Mm. And they were looking for a Titan to kind of, you know, uh, brace the uh, the fields to mm -hmm. help, you know, rally up the, the fans and so forth. So I guess I'm a human mascot, let's say. Yeah, yeah. And so with me being the first ever human mascot ever in the NFL. Awesome. was huge. And. Yeah. When, when the opportunity was presented to me, you know, I thought about it and I was like, hmm, I don't know. And so when I finally decide that, hey, okay, let's let's give it a run, you know, I, I came and, um, you know, did my thing. And as far as building my own character mm -hmm. to, you know, rally up, you mm -hmm. know, 30 plus thousand, yes. you know, Tennessee Titan fans. And yeah. I'm going to tell you, I've been on stage a lot of time as a competitor. Mm-hmm. But to come out of the tunnels with the players mm -hmm. onto a field and you look every perimeter around and the stadium was so loud, you could not hear anything. My first time going out, I almost went blank because I've never felt that type of energy in my whole life. And, you know, I kind of adapt to things well, mm -hmm. but that just kind of made me just freeze just for a little bit just because. I was like, I cannot believe that I am yeah. an icon yeah. to the Tennessee Titans yeah. NFL football team. Wow. Yeah. yeah. You were perfect for it, though. You were and, and perfect. I, and I was very, very blessed and grateful yeah. to have that opportunity. Um, I had one of the baddest creators who made that uh, design. Yeah. Um, his name is Prince, and when when you look up this man, he's he's incredible when it yeah. comes to like sci-fi and mm -hmm. uh, special effects. This man has had been on all these reality shows and mm -hmm. special effects for you know Comic Con. This mm -hmm. man is bad, but I'm gonna tell you how bad he was. When I had to actually do the fitting, everything that you saw on me was custom made wow. for me. Perfect and carbon fiber. But this man, other than the cape. There was actually measuring tape, and uh, his assistant, um, Cheryl, she had made the cape. And, of course, that had to be measured. But everything else, this man, Rick, had took aluminum foil to mold wow. to wow. make the whole outfit. That's how bad this man was. Amazing. Aluminum foil. Amazing. And I was like, when he did that, and I was like, hey, we done? I was like, you got, he's like, no, I got it. And when everything was done and made, you saw these bad pieces of this shiny, nice carbon fiber helmets, even the sword, you know, the, the actual uh, piecings that went around the waistline. Yeah. I mean, everything from head to toe, this man made from aluminum foil. He's amazing. <laughs> An artist, a true artist. Yeah, 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 definitely, man. He, he's very, very talented.